thanks for tuning in to another exciting episode of Badminton Unlimited coming to you from Birmingham, England. In the next 30 minutes, catch up on the results and reactions from the year's first HSBC BWF World Tour Super 1000 event. Game! Look at that reaction. Tells its own story, doesn't it? A seismic upset. And we hear the happy thoughts of Team Japan on their much-awaited return to the international scene. The 111th edition of the world's oldest tournament, the Yonex All England Open 2021, got underway with world number one Kenta Momota opening proceedings. The Japanese shook out the rust after 14 months away from international competition to see off the spirited challenge of Parupali Kashyap. After a comfortable 21-13 first game win, Momota conceded an eight-point lead in the following game, but calmly drew on his experience to come through 22-20. So, yes, ah, 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 Second seed Victor Axelsson had a tougher time against Koki Watanabe, squeezing past the Japanese despite a below par performance. Uh, nothing much. It was a horrible day at the office, to be honest. Uh, I, to, to be fair, I think Koki played a really nice game and uh, he could have gone either way today. Um, but me personally felt, felt uh, not at my best, but that's how it is. Eighth seed Kidami Srikanth was the first casualty, falling in three games to 20 year old Nat Moon, who was ranked 44 places below the Indian. For the last year or two, when I kind of became on the senior scene, I had so many chances to be top players, I feel, and I didn't take it. But here, I'm so happy that I, I changed my mindset during the game and I took the win, so I'm very, very happy. Women's doubles fourth seeds Jonkupan Kiritarakul and Rawinda Prajongjai were shown the exit in a shot loss to Perli Tan and Pina Muralitharan. The newly crowned Yonex Swiss Open champions stayed undeterred by the Thai's late charge to prevail 21-17, 23-21. It's an unexpected win for us. I think today we play quite well in our rotation part and our communication and strong belief in each other. I think I'm really happy for today. Kusala B. Sindhu opened her campaign with an efficient performance over Sonia Chia. The Malaysian threatened to force a decider but couldn't find a way past Kusala at 17 all. I think second game was uh, pretty much, you know, until 11 all and 12 all and 17 all it was at some point of time. But I think uh, I still uh, kept going. Sometimes it might not be your way, but you always have to keep trying and that's what I did today. And uh, yeah, I was uh, on the advantage side and I was in the upper hand, so. The Yonex All England Open 2021 witnessed several Japanese players return to the international fold after a year-long hiatus. Unsurprisingly, they were raring to go. まあ、地に足がついてないというか、え、え、他のことをこう、いろいろ考えてしまって、あまり集中した試合ができなかったです。とても
その試合に出るっていう不安もあったのでその買いに行くっていう、まあ、そこはうまく、まあ、自分たちで切り替えながら、まあ、この大会に向けてしっかり調整はできてたのでそこは良かったのかなと思います、あ、もちろん大会には出場したかったですけど、えーまあ、こうやって私たちは戻ってこれましたし、えー、目の前の試合に集中するだけだと思っています。まあ、試合は本当に昨年の、まあ、私は昨年のこのオールイングランド以来なので、本当に試合がこうしていけることはすごい楽しいですそうですね、もうすごいモチベーションを維持するのが難しくて、でもやっぱりコートに入れば、すごい気持ちよく試合ができるので、やっぱりこの前衛っていうのは、すごい大きな大会ですし、今、コートに入って試合をやれてるのが幸せです。僕は去年その日本代表自体から外れてて、1年4ヶ月ぶりぐらいの国際大会なので、まあ、久しぶりのこの海外の試合の雰囲気というのを楽しみながら、試合はできていると思います。The feature match from the round of 32 saw sixth seed Sadwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty eliminated by recent Yonex Swiss Open champions Kim Astrup and Anna Scout Rasmussen. In a tight three game encounter, a run of four points from 16 0 l in the decider sent the Danes to their first ever All Indian quarter final. The、yeah. oh yeah. yeah. net caught on the return of serve. And Kim Astrop absolutely delighted. All the way in the third set, we, we, we talked each, each rally what, what, what was good, what was wrong,、uh, what to do next. And then,、uh, yeah, they made maybe a few easy mistakes at the end. And、uh, I was really nervous on my serve, but it actually made it better. So they made a, a few errors.、Uh, but just our spirit and our motivation、uh, on court、uh, gave us、uh, those extra points, and I'm really、uh, happy about that. It was another fierce Denmark India tussle in men's singles, as third seed Anders a n d e r s o n was made to toil for 50 minutes before prevailing over Samuel Verma. It was a typical day at the office for women's doubles top seeds Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, who were playing their first competitive match since claiming the title in Denmark last October. The defending champions were hardly challenged by the 31st ranked Alexandra Bohe and m e t a k u l s e n しっかり入ることができたので、そこはすごく良かったなと思いますし、まあ、デンマークオープン優勝、まあ、できたんですけど、またこう切り替えて、まあ、今大会もしっかり一戦一戦戦いたいなという気持ちです。Last year's men's doubles winners, Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe, also got through their second round match with a little fuss, despite less match practice than Malaysian opponents on Yu Sin and Chiu Yi. But there it is on their fourth time of asking. It's so sad. I know I tell you, he's only receive it. Okay, I tell you, go past another one. I know that so they don't call Gaman Surukoto died in Pokoroba. Home favorites Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith continued their stellar runs to seal three quarterfinal spots for England. Ellis and Smith had yet to drop a game in mixed doubles and in their partnerships with Chris Langridge and Chloe Birch, respectively. Thailand asserted their dominance in women's singles with three players progressing to the quarterfinals. Rachanok Intanon was tested early in both games by American Iris Huang, but the two time finalists held her ground to prevail 21 14, 21 13. Game. I think that today I just try to control everything and I think that if I play more s t o c k and Take her a lot of court is, is a good game for me. Meanwhile, Busanan Ong Bangunpan had a tougher task at hand as she overturned a 2 6 head to head against Japan's Aya Ohori. While Poon Pa Wi Cho Chu Wong downed junior compatriot Pitaya Poon Chai Wan to complete a trio of Thai quarter finalists. The biggest story on quarterfinals day was the shock defeat of top seed Kento Momota. 
Lizzy Jia, who has yet to take a game off the world number one in six previous meetings, did the unthinkable by downing the two-time world champion in straight games. My game plan today is uh, fight everything I can. I know it's very tough uh, against Momota. You have to focus every shot, every moment. And uh, you, you can't just uh, lose focus. And when you lose focus, it, uh, it, it will make a big gap. Uh, I try to focus every point. Yeah. Game. Look at that reaction. Tells its own story, doesn't it? A seismic upset in the men's singles event. Kento Momoto, the world number one, derailed at the All England. やっぱりちょっと余裕のなさから、慌ててしまって簡単なミスが多かったかなと思います。この試合の緊張感を味わえたのはすごく良かったですし、また次につなげていけたらいいかなと思います。Netherlands made headlines as well by securing two spots in the semi-finals. Selina Piek and Cheryl Seinan took 39 minutes to dispatch Ashley Punapa and MC Kureddy. While 26-year-old Mark Kariau overcame India's Lakshya Sen in three games. I have no words actually. Uh, I'm just still... Feels a little bit like a dream. I don't know what happened and uh, yeah, just feel amazing now. We are really happy that we won our matches and that we are here because yeah, it's still the semi-final at the All England. So I'm very, very pleased that we decided to go. The Dutch duo would meet top seeds Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota in the semi-final. The Japanese were given a scare by home pair Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith before prevailing in three games. Japan's Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda had their hands full too against England's Marcus Ellis and Chris Langwood in an exhausting 68-minute battle. Oh, outstanding! What a point to win the game! Well, it was a bit of a bad game, but it was a good game to win the game. It was a good game to win the game, so it was a good game to win the game. The third, I think, you know, it's a lot that we have to look back on. Um, again, they, we knew they were going to come out with 100% pace. Um, and we just weren't ready for it. And I think in the end, we got quite frustrated. Um, we've not been able to handle it. In the other men's doubles, Yepa Bay and Lassamol had a powered pass Nibitkwan Puang Prophet and Tanupat Vuryankura in just their fourth outing as a pair. It's unbelievable, actually. Um, we haven't thought about that uh, when we came here. So, um, yeah, right now uh, we just, uh, yeah, I can't imagine it right now, actually. So. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm happy. <laughs> In the closely watched women's singles discipline, Pusala v Sindhu took down a tenacious Akane Yamaguchi with some relentless attacks in a grueling match that went on for 76 minutes. Oh, phenomenal. That is just magnificent. It was definitely a good, uh, tough, long match, I would say. Yeah, overall, um, it was anybody's game, but I think uh, I'm really happy to be on the winning side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Nozomi Okuhara was also made to work hard against Busanan Ongbangunpan in a highly charged 73 minute encounter that featured some long rallies and moments of magic. Likewise, fourth seed Rachanok Intanon was also severely tested by Mia Blickfeld. The Dane had Intanon in all sorts of trouble with some pinpoint attack, but couldn't sustain her aggression to the end. I really uh, think that uh, I was uh, dominating the match in the, in the first set and I had a good control and I was playing the rallies in a very clever way. Um, so right now I'm just disappointed that I couldn't uh, like played the whole night uh, like that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna learn from it. Over in mixed doubles, Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying were relieved in defeating the informed Tom Jekyll and Delphine Del Rue, who had a string of good results this year, including their triumph in Switzerland over a week ago. Despite losing their respective matches earlier in the day, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith bounced back with a huge victory over Mikkel Mikkelsen and Rika Sobi to keep their hopes of a home ground celebration alive.
Welcome back to Badminton Unlimited. You're watching a special look back at the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2021. As we head into the business end of the competition, many intriguing matches were lined up in the semi-finals. Two high-level women's singles matches were played out on Saturday. Kornpawi Chochuwong met her first seeded opponent in Putsala v Sindhu and passed with flying colours, taking out the error-strewn Indian in stray games. My plan just I have to control myself first and fly every single shot because it, she's also strong and fast. I only fight. <laughs> in a clash of former world champions, Nozomi Okuhara snatched victory from Rachinok Intanon by winning seven of the last eight points in the decider to complete an amazing comeback from 14-18 down. Oh, incredible gap from Nozomi Okuhara there. Shot the game, six. 6 to 11 uh, behind five points so I think more more speed up maybe she got pressure for me so many mistakes actually I, I try to believe myself that like if point by point I also can winning today but yeah when she come up she like she believe herself more there were no surprises in the first women's double semi-final. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota endured an opening game assault by the unseeded Selena Piek and Cheryl Seinen before cruising through the second game. Second seeds Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara wasted no time in joining their compatriots in the final, following a solid performance against the fifth seeds and teammates Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida. Japan's domination spilled over to the men's doubles. Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda launched a comeback from 11-16 down in the opening game and managed to keep Kim Astrup and Anders Scout Rasmussen at bay for the remaining of the match. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. What a super shot from Keigo Sonoda. Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe took another step towards their title defense as they brought an end to the fairy tale run of Yeta Bay and Lassa Molheda of Denmark in 36 minutes. Yuta Watanabe would return to the courts again with Arisa Higashino. The second seeds hit the right note from the get go and were able to avenge their defeat to Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith here 12 months ago. And the famous drop shot setting up the opportunity. I think it was a pretty poor performance overall, to be honest. Um, I think especially at that first set, it took us a long time to get up to speed. We were very passive. In the other semi-final, Yuki Kaneko and Misaki Matsutomo crushed third seeds Chan Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying with an incredible fight back from a 12-point deficit in the second game. Oh, brilliant! That's and they've out. done it! Well, that is absolutely extraordinary. So, this is a good thing. I think it's 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 a good thing. Yeah, the pressure is definitely on us uh, because uh, we already lost the first game, so uh, we wanted the second set so bad, but unfortunately we didn't perform that. Over in men's singles, Lee Zijia backed up his win over Kento Momota by dismantling first-time semi-finalist Mark Kariao with great maturity and confidence. The Malaysian was clearly delighted to make it through to his first major final. In a rematch of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals this January, Victor Axelsson reversed the result from Thailand and entered his seventh straight final. His younger compatriot Anders Anderson built a comfortable 11-6 lead in the decider, but the drift that had played a big part in the match thwarted his game plan and forced him into making errors. I think playing against the drift helped me. I had a good lifts and uh, played a good defense, so that was 
a really important part. I don't know. I mean, Victor has a, a really good defense. So if you want to, I mean, score some points by attacking, you, you almost need to hit the line. So I guess that's why. The match of the final day was undoubtedly the men's singles encounter. The opening game had everyone on the edge of their seats, with Lizzie Jia and Victor Axelsson squandering seven and three game points respectively before the Malaysian won 30 29. That oh, is that awesome is superb. The more experienced Danes seemed destined for defeat, trailing 14-18. But some now managed to grind out a 22-20 win. I think we just have to focus every point. We just can't lose focus like one moment. When we lost focus, the, the, our opponent will like take advantage of it. The one-game shootout was all Lee as a fast tiring Axelsson offered little resistance. Has gone wide and Lee Zizia is the All England champion. Unfortunately, I've spent quite a bit of energy this week playing uh, long matches and it has taken its toll a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Lee was the rightful winner today, so I want to congratulate him. After two previous matches that went the distance and lasted more than 70 minutes each, Nozomi Okuhara hardly put a foot wrong in the final match that mattered, brushing aside Puan Pawi Chochuwong, who was playing in her first Super 1000 final. Very tough match for me, and maybe she is a uh, more fighter than me, and patient more than me, and make me more mistake than her. 44 minutes was all it took for Okuhara to claim her second consecutive title after seven previous heartbreaking losses in the final. Not very good because I'm condition is very good. So I tried my play. Uh, it cannot. Uh, maybe my opponent is very good. Well, well done. So that's not my day. The three doubles disciplines were all Japan affairs. First up was men's doubles, with Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe looking to extend their three-game win streak against Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda. As the match went deep into the third game, Kamura and Sonoda were let down by their passive play. Final game was, I wanted to go in the final game, but at that time, I didn't have a chance to win the ball, but I didn't have a chance to win the ball, and at that time, I won the ball. ま、その辺でま、決めきれなかったっていうのが大きいです。あ、ハラパーフェクトロップショットバイヒロユキエンノ。in the 12th meeting between the top two seeds, Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara closed out the seesaw first game on a run of five straight points. えっと、ずっとま、序盤から長いラリーがずっと続いていたので、やっぱりその簡単なミスを絶対にこちらはしないように、ま、最後までこう気を抜かずに Defending champions Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota kept pace for most of the second game, but at 13 all, the two time world champions pulled away to add the Super 1000 title to their growing list of major achievements. All eyes were on the 23-year-old Yuta Watanabe as he made his second appearance of the day, hoping to become the first male player in nearly two decades to win a double at the All England Open. Together with Arisa Higashino, the more experienced duo outplayed the unseeded Yuki Kaneko and Misaki Matsutomo with a comfortable scoreline of 21-14, 21-13.
まあ本当に、えー、2種目できるんだぞっていうのを、えー、証明できたと思いますし、えー、まあ本当に、えー、何回も言いますけど目標にしてきたところなのですごく今嬉しい気持ちでいっぱいです。That's it for today. Join us next week as Denmark's men's single stalwart Hans Christian Solberg Wittinger sheds light on when he'll hang up his racket. I'm not sure if there will ever be a day where I'll say I'm 100% ready to quit.、Uh, I love the sport too much, I love competing too much. For the latest news and updates from the sport, do go to bwfbadminton.com. Bye bye and see you soon.